Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a numbered list within a single cell in Microsoft Excel. And we are going to do this with a small use case where we have a list of employees along with the department. And based on the department that the end user chooses, we want those employees listed in a single cell along with the serial numbers running side by side to that. Now, let me take you through step by step on how to do this. Firstly, if we were to get a list of all the employees in a single cell, the way to do that would be to use a text join function. So let me use that text join function here. And I'm going to start with comma as a separator or a delimiter. We'll ignore the blank. So I'm going to put true in the second parameter. And in the third position is where I'm going to list the name of all the employees. Let me close the bracket and enter. We've got all those employees here separated by a comma. We don't want comma, we want serial numbers running. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a sequence of, let's see, right now let me choose a big number like 1000. I'm going to use a sequence function. The sequence function gives me a serial number running from 1 to 1000 and this comma. The comma is now still our separator. Uh, let me press enter now. So now what you could see is that serial numbers coming in place. It's, so it's not just comma. We also have a serial number. I would like to break this line by line. In order to do that, I'm also going to concatenate before the sequence, a line break. And line break can be introduced with the character code 10. So char 10 will help us insert a line break. So let me type this, press enter. We've got the list spread into multiple lines. For this, we had to choose the wrap text option. If your cell does not have a wrap text enabled, then this will run into a single line as we saw here. So let me do a wrap text. Uh, instead of comma, I would like to see the brackets or uh, closing parenthesis. So let me put a closing parenthesis in place of a comma. Looks fine, but the first name should have serial number one and subsequent ones should have serial number two. That's not happening here because the text join applies a delimiter only on the second one onwards. So let me do one thing. In the sequence function, let me add a few extra parameters. So we said we want 1000 numbers, a serial number running from 1000 of one column, so comma one, and it should start at number two, not at number one. So let me put that comma two here, starting point. So this is also looking fine now. The only missing point is that we would like to see one coming in the first name. We don't have that yet. I'm going to do that by concatenating a static text called one because the first item is always going to have one in it. So let me put that first, concatenate that with the text join function. So this is what we have. The first item needs to have one. So I've put that here. Subsequent ones should come in the next line. So I need a line break and they need to have a serial number, but should start at two. I put the number as thousand because thousand is perhaps large enough. If you want, you can choose 10,000, 100,000, whatever. We want to ignore the blank cells and C9 to C22 is where our data is. So this gives us the numbered list within a single cell. We are not done here because we want to be able to filter the list. This is not a very difficult task if you know how to use a filter function. So I'm going to use the filter function here where I'm going to say I want C9 to C22 provided the department equals whatever is the department the end user has chosen here. And let me close it. So the filter function is going to automatically filter for those employees who are, let's say in the HR department, that's what is chosen here. And the delimiters that we have typed here is going to add the serial numbers and the line breaks. We've got the list. And I would also like to perhaps make it into a Lambda so that end users don't have to type all these things again and again. So to create a Lambda, what I'm going to do is for now, let me use the Excel lab facility, the Excel lab, and I'll go to the module section in workbook. Let me call this as numbered list. That's the name of my Lambda that I'm giving here equals Lambda. For now, I would let the end users decide what kind of filtering they want to apply or whether they want to apply filtering at all. So I'm just going to say the end user are going to give us values. And what we need to do is for all these values, we are going to apply the text join function. But firstly, we will have one and a closing parenthesis coming up. 
that will be concatenated with our text join function where the text join is going to be character 10 which is what we typed earlier and we also need the serial numbers sequence of let's say 1000 comma 1 comma 2 and the closing parenthesis and a space so this is going to be our delimiter true the values to be concatenated is going to be the values so numbered list is going to be my name of the lambda i could have chosen to do the filtering within the lambda itself the lambda is not doing the filtering i would like to let the end users do it because sometimes they may want to do filtering sometimes they just want all the cases so i am closing it as it is so we earlier had this function where we had chosen it with the text join but now that i have created the numbered list lambda so let me apply that here equals numbered list let me apply the filter function inside this i want the names provided the department equals technology and let me close the bracket we've got this hope you found the video useful if you want this lambda the lambda is put in the comment section you can go and copy it and apply that in your model as well if you like this video do share this video and do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the like button thank you very much bye bye